When you are designing PCBs, often you need to check mechanical dimensions and connector position to be sure everything is going to fit. And you can use the .exe file, which can be easily generated from most of CAD PCB softwares. You can use this .exe file to 3D print model of your PCB. And this is how you can do it. In your PCB software, find this uh, export to .exe file. Here is the exported file. Now, search for Fusion 360 personnel. Installation is easy and it's free for personal use. Then open it. Once you start the software, insert the exe. Select the plane where we would like to put it and select the file what we have just created. Open. Uh, now we would like to import uh, the layers on the individual drawings. Here they are. And we would like to double check the dimensions. So I'm going to check the pitch between these two pins and it's supposed to be 100 mils, it's 100 millimeters. So it's wrong. Uh, I'm going to undo this. And I'm going to change the units to inches. Okay, and we are going to import it again. So insert the exe file, select the plane, select the file, Open. Now you can see it's imported in inches. So we would like to import the drawings on individual layers or into individual sketches. I'm going to double check the dimensions. And it's 100 inches. Okay, it's better, but we still need to scale these drawings because it's supposed to be 100 mils, not 100 inches. So select everything. Go to modify scale. Uh, be sure the drawings are selected. We also need to select uh, additional points. So I'm going to use just this zero position and I'm going to scale it by 0 0.001. Okay. And let's have a look. Double check the dimensions. So the pitch between these two pins should be 100 mils. And now this is correct. Okay, so the drawing has correct dimensions. I'm going to switch off or disable all the layers what we don't need. We just need the holes and the board outline. I'm going to save it. 3D PCB model, save. Now create new component. I'm going to call it PCB. Here it is. It needs to be active. Now create new sketch. Select the plane where we would like to create the sketch. Be sure the sketch is in our PCB. Finish the sketch. It is empty. What we are going to do, I'm going to select the holes from the imported sketch. Just copy and paste them into our empty sketch. So edit the sketch in our PCB and paste the holes. Okay, so all the imported holes are in our sketch now. I'm going to use this special kind of selection. Don't use it this way. Draw it from the bottom like this and you need to see the field color. Okay, I selected all the vias and we are going to deal with them. And I'm going to select all the connector holes. And I'm going to use special feature uh, in these constraints. I'm going to use this equal feature. It means all, all these connector holes are going to be exactly the same. Finish the sketch. Okay, now we would like to import the board outline. So disable this and make it visible. Select it. Oops. I'm going to change this to standard selection. So select the board outline. Copy it from our imported file. So I'll make the PCB active and edit our sketch. Right click 
paste the board outline into our sketch. Okay, in is the sketch. Now save it. Change the units. I'm going to use millimeters. Select our PCB and pull it up by 1.6 millimeter. That's standard PCB thickness. Check the whole dimensions, 1.1 millimeter, and this one is 3.175. We would like to make them a little bit bigger. So uh, again, I'm going to use this special selection, select all the holes, and we will make them bigger because it will be easier uh, for 3D printing. Double check if only the holes are selected, okay? Now, go to modify and use this offset face feature. We would like to make them uh, minus 0 0.2 millimeter bigger. Okay, double check. Now it's 1.5 millimeter and this one is 3.575. Okay, save it. Export. Select STL file. Export. Let's have a look. I'm going to open Cura, import our file. In the settings, we would like to uh, print a little bit slower of the wall and initial layer. You can find it here in these settings if they are not enabled in your Cura software. So change this to 10 and this one also to 10. Because, you know, when printing these holes, uh, we would like to have them very nice. So let's have a look. Okay, it looks good. And this is how it is going to be printed. Okay, perfect. So, save the file. And 3D print it. Nice. I'm going to try it. Let's have a look. Our PCB is perfect. I hope you found this useful. If you like, you can also watch my other videos where I use Fusion 360. Don't forget to leave your comments and see you next time. Bye!